guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to find the derivative of arc cos of x. So what we do is we let y equal arc cos of x. And now we apply the function of cos to both sides. So this gives us cos of y equals cos of arc cos of x. And cos and arc cos are inverse functions, so they're going to cancel out. So we're going to be left with cos of y equals x. And now we want to implicitly differentiate. So the derivative of cos of y is minus sine of y. And then we have to use the chain rule inside. So the derivative of y is dy dx. And this equals 1. So let's rearrange for dy dx. This equals minus 1 over sine of y. So I'm just going to write it over here. So this equals minus 1 over the sine of y. But we want to find the derivative of arc cos of x in terms of x's. And at the moment we've got y. But we've got an expression here that relates y with x. So what we want to do is express sine of y in terms of cos of y, and then we can substitute x in. But we know that cos squared of y plus sine squared of y equals 1. So let's get it in terms of sine of y. So it's sine squared of y equals 1 minus cosine squared of y, which means that sine of y equals square root of 1 minus cosine squared of y. So let's substitute this in. So this is going to give us minus 1 over square root of 1 minus cosine squared of y. And we know that cosine y equals x. So the last step is substitute in for cosine y. So this gives us minus 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared. So there you go, the derivative of arc cos of x.